Ever since I started designing missiles on my channel, I've gotten a lot of requests to do one very specific kind of missile, known as a precision missile. And I thought, okay, I'll give it a try, maybe it won't be too difficult. It turned out to be very difficult. Now for those of you who don't know what a precision missile is, it works a little bit differently from a normal TNT missile. A normal TNT missile would ignite when it hits a block, however, a precision missile would ignite after traveling a certain programmable number of blocks. So let's say, for example, we wanted to destroy this house using a TNT missile. However, we wouldn't really be able to hit it directly because it's being defended by this gigantic wall. So, an ordinary TNT missile would just hit the wall, it would explode, and nothing would actually happen to the house. However, a precision missile would be able to come over the wall, stop once it's right over the house, and explode, destroying the house from above. Now, one of the main difficulties of designing a precision missile is this thing right here. Now, if you haven't seen this before, this is Cube Hamster's design for a precision missile. Now, ordinarily, I would have scrapped this video idea by now because I usually try not to make redstone weapons that have already been designed by people. However, I actually think that this design has a very large issue with it that I think I can fix by making my own design for a precision missile. So I'm fairly certain the way cube hamsters works is that there is a very slow flying machine that travels off at a very slow pace, this is actually a lot slower than I expected, and eventually when this chest runs out of items then it's going to send off a slightly faster uh, flying machine that is eventually going to catch up with this one and it will if when it reaches it, it will ignite the TNT and also stop this flying machine, which will ignite the missile. It's a really smart and unique design and I've seen a lot of copies of it floating around. However, there is a very large issue with it. And that's that, if this first flying machine gets out of your render distance, then it's going to stop moving and the missile won't go as far as you want it to. So I think that I can design my own precision missile that'll actually be able to solve that issue. Now I decided that my design for a precision missile would make use of this little feature right here. And you see how this hopper minecart is not quite making it to the top of that hill and is not powering this redstone lamp. And that is because it has some items in it. If we were to take these items out, the hopper minecart grows wider, it can make it to the top of the hill, and it powers the redstone lamp. Now there's another part of this also that's going to make our design work, and that is that if we have another hopper minecart down here, it's going to gradually take items out of this hopper minecart every time it passes over it. So as you can see, it's going to eventually drain all of the items out of this hopper minecart, and that's going to eventually make it light enough to travel all the way to the top of the hill and power the redstone lamp. So using the previously mentioned features, I was able to make my own design for a precisely timed TNT missile. So just to quickly go over the mechanics that make this thing work, basically every time this hopper minecart goes over this detector rail, it's going to cause the flying machine to go forward one block. This minecart chest is completely full of items, and as is this hopper minecart below it, and the hopper minecart can of course also take items out of the chest minecart. There's also a whole bunch of hopper minecarts down here that are going to take a few items out of this hopper minecart every time it passes over them. Now, this minecart is currently full of items, so it's too heavy to get to the top of the hill. However, eventually when it completely runs out, and also this chest minecart completely runs out, it's going to make it to the top of the hill and it will no longer push the flying machine forwards. Also, there's this detector rail at the top of the hill that's going to push off these TNT minecarts, so the moment the flying machine stops, the TNT minecarts are also going to be dropped and the missile will be activated. Now let's go ahead and activate this thing so you can see how it works. So how we do it is just place a block here and the flying machine is started. Oh, it's broken. Oh, it's broken again! Uh, this thing is so annoying, it works perfectly fine when I'm not recording, but of course the moment I start recording it wants to break many, many times in a row. But finally, I think we finally have everything working, and as you can see, the hopper minecart is going almost to the top of the hill, doesn't quite make it, it goes straight back down, and each time the chest minecart is going to lose just a few items. Now once it runs out and these hopper minecarts are completely full, then eventually it's going to stop the whole machine and ignite the TNT minecarts. Eventually, when the chest minecart runs out of items and the hopper minecart starts running low on items, then it's going to get lighter and lighter until eventually the hopper minecart can make it to the top of the hill. Right now it can't just yet, but if we wait a little bit and watch the flying machine, then eventually we will see it drop the TNT and stop the flying machine.
But anyways, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope everyone enjoyed, and there were a few scenes that I was going to add to this video that unfortunately I had to cut because I was getting a strange problem where having my recording software and Minecraft open at the same time would cause Minecraft to crash. So if anyone else has ever had this problem and knows how to fix it, it would be much appreciated if you could let me know. This weapon will have a tutorial video of its own, that will be the next video I will be creating, so if you want to know how to build this yourself, just stay tuned, and eventually that video will be out. But that's all, and for now, goodbye.